Hi all, today I have my lovely assistant here who's gonna help us with a math problem. So let's say you go to your local candy store and you see a giant pitcher like this. This pitcher is three gallons. And on a card it says, how many Skittles fill this three gallon bucket? And at your candy store, it's totally full of Skittles. You wanna win the prize and the prize is a $50 gift card to the candy store and the entire pitcher of Skittles. You're so excited. How can we estimate how many Skittles are in this? So as you can see, my lovely assistant and I bought three bags of Skittles, and we're gonna try to estimate how many are in this bucket by counting. So as you can see, we counted them in groups of 10, and we have 172 Skittles. So we're gonna see how many of these Skittles fit into two different containers. We're gonna use the ball jar, which has some measurements along the side, and we're gonna use a measuring cup. And hopefully that will help us, since it's a one-fourth measuring cup, hopefully that will help us figure out how many Skittles would be in the entire thing. So we'll let you know how many fit in here, and we'll take some pictures, and then you let us know your answer. Good luck. First we measured using our measuring cup, which was one-fourth of a cup, and we found 50 Skittles fit in it. Then we used the ball jar and found it was a little bit more than three-fourths of a cup or 200 milliliters. You can use any of these numbers, but I would suggest using the one-fourth cup measures 50 Skittles. So even though I'm a math teacher, I actually haven't always liked math. So there was a time in elementary school where I just despised math. And the reason is because in fifth grade, we had to learn measurements. And you know, I'm not really the greatest cook, I'm not gonna lie. But in fifth grade, I had to memorize how many cups there were in a gallon and so on. So you're gonna need that for this problem. And so I wanna show you a cool trick that my husband, who was a fourth and fifth grade teacher for many years, he's now an elementary school principal, taught me. Um, so he taught me that if you think about the whole body as a gallon, your gallon has one, two, three, four quarts within it. And that makes sense because if you think about the word quart, quarters, right? There's four quarters in a dollar. So we have four quarts within the gallon and each gallon if you bend your legs and bend your arms, has one, two pints within it. And then each pint has two, 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 two cups within it. So if you wanted to know how many cups are in a gallon, you have your four quarts, your two pints within those, each quart, and you have two cups within the, gallon, or within the pint. All right, so you're gonna use that when you solve this problem. Good luck.